Hi and welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to model this glass, this pint of glass. Um, I will take you through the modeling basics and um, the texture material. Um, okay, so with that, I mean, it's quite straightforward. Um, so with that, we'll uh, crack on. So in Blender, we start off with a light cube and a camera. Let me just um, switch on screencast so you can see which keys we're pressing. So anyway, so we will get rid of the cube and we'll leave the light there for now. Um, so basically what we're going to do is start off with a circle. Okay, we're going to bring that down to say 16 and we are going to fill it. Um, let's bring this back to zero as a center. Okay, so we're zooming in on that. So basically, we're going to take hold of the edges and we're going to edit mode. I'm going to press Alt and right key and right mouse button, okay, and that will select the loop. And then we are going to E for extrude. And then we only want to do it on the Z axis. Okay. So that's that done. And then what we need to do now is use the um, modifier called Solidify. Okay. And then if we zoom in here. We can, it's already set at 0.01, you can see the thickness is all has increased. So also what we want to do now is increase it further to say 0 0.05 or thereabouts. And that'll give us a good, I mean, we don't want to do it too thick, but we don't want to do it too thin, okay? Um, and then, I don't know if you notice, but like in a, on a glass, um, there's always that thick bit of glass at the bottom. So if we just go into there, move it down, and then select vertices, press B for box select, and then select not the bottom vertices, but the next ones up. Okay, I think that's on there, selected them all. Okay, so B, box, B, box, and then bring it up until it looks about right which that does look about right I guess so that's giving us the glass at the bottom there okay so now we've done that what we want to do is go back into object mode and then we want to give it smooth shading and um, we also want to subdivide surfaces as you can see there, it's subdivided there and it's ugh, not so, not that great. So we're just going to edit mode. We'll do control R for like a ring cut. And then we'll bring that right down to the bottom or as close to the bottom as you can. 
um, and you also need to do that for the top as well so do control R and then bring that up to the top okay and then you also want to do it on the inside so control R left mouse click to engage the the new cut and then you can take it right down to the bottom there and then again control R to ring cut left mouse button to engage and then you can just move it up near the, to the top now I don't know if you've noticed but on a glass it's always got like a little lip at the top so we're going to face select do um, alt and right click and that will get you like a loop select and then if you press S to scale and just bring it out oh no that hang on press E escape and then S okay so that gives you a, a bit of a lip on the glass there okay and if we come out of there if we go back into the object you can see the lip lip on the glass okay so that's pretty quite straightforward um, normally you've got like a bulge in the cup so I do a control uh, I need to go back into edit mode control R to loop cut and say about there and you need to give it another one say about there and then on the top on this one here do alt and select and then if you do scale I'll bring it out nicely so you've got that nice bulge in the cut there okay and then you can just go back into object mode and that's pretty much your glass Okay, so that's pretty much the glass done. Now what we want to do is give it a um, material. Oh, when you first start Blender, make sure you select Cycles Render. Um, I have to give it a new material, and then in the surface, come down to Surface, Diffuse, BSDF change that to glass bsdf now this won't give you a pure white so you need to go in there just drag them all up to one i'll give you like a pure clear right i'm gonna have to show you down here where we are so far okay because unfortunately when i um do this and record it slows down our corn so we'll just change that to rendered okay and there you can see the glass okay right what we need to do now is we're still in object mode we'll create a plane okay and then we'll just scale it up um dimension say ten by ten by twenty by twenty twenty okay we'll give it a material we'll just leave it as white and then the background the background you can change the background colour just by going into the little world and this colour thing here you can just change it to white so you can see there that we've got a nice glass what we'll also do is we'll take this light out ok just press X and OK and then we're going to put another plane in 
So this, you can use this to give like a, a three point lighting system, but we'll just do like a one point lighting system on here for now. And we'll just put it sort of there, scale it up. Let's change that to local. And then we can just get a nice long lighting. Okay, and then we'll give it a material. But this time, instead of diffuse, you need to change it to emission. And then change that to maybe six or seven. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is just go into here and render, but it might not be so great. Um, I'm going to change the samples, sampling up to 200, I think, just in the render, because it'll give it a better. So the video may be a bit jittery if I do this, so I'm going to do it anyway. And we'll see what happens. I'll tell you what else you can do. If you've got a um, graphics a graphic card that supports CUDA, um, if you go into user preferences. Um, and then into a system, you can change it from a CPU rendering to like your graphics card. So I've got a GTX 670. It's not the best one, but it does the trick. And it's CUDA. Um, this will increase your rendering time. This will, sorry, this will speed up your rendering times. Okay. And then on here, with a little camera at the top here, you've got device change that to GPU compute okay and then if we go back into here I do it rendered so as you can see there we've got this lovely lovely glass um, maybe we could change the background down a bit And then what if you take hold of the if you take hold of this and make it like super long and just sort of drag it down a bit because what people like to see is like a glistening along the edge of the glass so if we just render that so you can see there the glistening on the glass you probably turn it around a smidge But you can actually see the glistening on the glass there. In fact, we need to move the floor up. So hang on a minute. Let's just go back into the solid. Let's just drag this up. Okay, now let's try that again. There we go, that's better. So now we've also got the shadow on the floor there. So it actually looks a lot better. Anyway, um, that's it from me today. Hopefully you've enjoyed this quick tutorial. Um, don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you have. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more tutorials, which I'm sure we'll have in the, uh, in the future. Um, so yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed that. And we'll see you next time.